can't help but just, you know, dance to this music. That's an amazing song by the one and only Joyce Omondi. Right here on Cross of 101, and we're so glad to have you. Thank you. Karibu sana. Um, you, you know, one thing about Joyce, she's so modest and, co you know, calm. Eh? Yes. I feel like a noisemaker. I Joyce. Welcome to the no, show. No, I can be noisy too. Can, well, can you? you? I've never seen you noisy. Hey, she's well. a MC. Me, I'm just MC. Hey. You can be noisy. I think well. all my life since I knew you. No, I'm definitely introverted, but uh, I, I switch myself on when I have to. You get into character. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the only way to manage when you're in media and you have a quiet personality. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Please call me when you have that moment, <laughs> so that at least I have, you, you know, I can say yes. I can say I have ever seen Joyce, you know, all happen about, you know, because man, I feel like I'm noisy. No, thank you, thank you. For <laughs> it's really nice. Me. Joyce is a, is our um, presenter, TV presenter. Mm -hmm. uh, you joined, recently joined um, a station. Yeah, and about but eight months ago now. Eight months. Another station, which mm. yes, <laughs> we won't you say You will here. find out on her page. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, you were also a TV presenter in another station, in but you station, were majorly yeah. a musician. Yeah. And I think when we had you last time is when you had just done, um, had you just done the song? Maybe no, no, not? no, we didn't have me here for this one. Um, it was earlier, earlier on when I had just come back uh, and had released Lihi Midi Lihi, Jinala. Yes, yes yeah. that's the song. Yes. So this this one you released? Um, this one I released a of this, this mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. in February, mm -hmm. just before um, I did a worship experience. Uh, yes. a musical a live music experience um, featuring my songs called mm -hmm. rejoice mm -hmm. so i released to Miami just before then and it's been awesome just seeing how guys respond to the song yes. and how it ministers to them it's based on jeremiah 29 11. Mm -hmm. yeah. i was about to ask you does it have any personal connotation because yeah. from the music you can tell there's something deeper than just you know writing yeah yeah, yeah. i always try and write my songs based on scripture i feel like that is my core as a worship minister mm -hmm. um, to really speak the word of God, prophesy through the word of God. And so this song, and like all of my songs, is written, this one is particularly written from Jeremiah 29 11, mm -hmm. which has been one of my favorite verses ever since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But it's just that perfect reminder that you know what? God like knows where He's taking you, He already has a plan for you, and it's good. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, a phenomenal promise that yeah. one, I was like, hey, Mazi, I just need to have this in song form to continually <coughs> remind myself of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. 2911. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Today we're talking about uh, youth entrepreneurship, education, character, image. And um, before, as we know you, we knew, when we knew you, you were just getting into TV yeah. and then you started doing music and then at some point you had to take a break to go back to school. Yeah. And then when you finished is when you came back. A lot of people don't know how to do that and where to place education. Once yeah. you've gotten on a roller coaster, you know, you're on and on and on and on. You don't know where to stop, yeah. especially for the young people. Yeah. I don't know what you have to say in regards to this. No, so true. I mean, education is is really important um, but I also say education is not just about like what you're learning mm -hmm. when you're in school it's also teaching you other things how to prioritize how to mm -hmm. juggle many different responsibilities but it's still something nonetheless that I, I feel helps open up one's mind mm -hmm. so a lot of people don't know that when I was getting on to Rauka um, I had already been accepted to school Okay. And so it was a very tough time because I was like, do I go to school? Do I mm. stay and pursue this media thing? I kind of stumbled into media first of all, but I actually talked to the school first and said, can you defer my application for a year? Mm -hmm. And I said, I will only join this show if they agree to that. Okay. So I had planned from the very beginning and the whole station knew I was only going to be there for one year because school was that much of a commitment to me. Mm -hmm. First of all, I was going to Georgetown, which is like the number one school <laughs> in my field. So I was just like, how do I pass this by? Yes. You know, um, but I'm so grateful for that experience. I did it, came back. I feel even now I'm a better presenter. My show, uh, you know, I'm a better presenter because of even the sort of content I'm bringing now. Mm -hmm. And I think that I can trace back absolutely <clears throat> to the education, to the education that I, I received. So yeah. it seems like something that a lot of people are like, oh, I'm going to waste time. And mm -hmm. I'll miss out opportunities mm -hmm. but you know what you also have to remember that life is about seasons and mm -hmm. you grow out mm -hmm. of things mm -hmm. and I just didn't want to wake up one day and I'm 40 and I'm like oh my gosh I, I missed I out on going to Georgetown <laughs> University yes. you know what I mean so mm -hmm. it's it, it can be a tough decision in that moment but trust me God grows you even as a, a vocalist a musician I came back way stronger mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. been able to serve in different churches there too okay, okay. Yeah. and now being um, a presenter having your life together music together and now marriage how are you able to juggle all that being a wife yeah 
I mean, I think it's always just been God's grace. Um, the same way I think, you know, more you are, you are DJ, Mara, you are a husband, you are a father. <laughs> you know what I mean? Make a time, time, time. Make a time, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just about prioritizing <laughs> and fair. balancing and just figuring out what is most important, mm -hmm. you know, in your life. Um, and there's a cost to be paid. So you may not be able to get to every party. You won't go to every concert that's available because mm -hmm. you have another responsibility elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But you kind of understand that, you know, this is for a season and it's paying off to something else. So once that's done, it will be okay. okay. But at the end of the day, it's to say what's most important to you. To me, that's my husband, my family, and then everything else, else sort comes of comes after, after that. Okay, what great. Next? Yes, what that's next? exactly yes. what I'm <laughs> <laughs> So I'm pretty excited. I mean, after doing Rejoice, uh, we're trusting God to do this annually. Um, so we need to be, we'll be preparing for that as well. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, I've also been involved in just a lot of ministry around uh, counties. Um, so looking forward to heading to Eldoret soon to do something over there. Um, I'm also involved in a fleo. This okay. is my second time doing it. Last year was my first one. And that has been a truly stretching and growing experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny because I've done a fleo as a presenter, like on the outside. Mm -hmm. I've done a fleo as a congregant and now like I'm in it as one of their worship Musicians, leaders. Yes. So that's been fantastic. And mm -hmm. then uh, releasing some of my own music, in including con songs that people haven't heard yet. We've not done some singles yet from my album. Okay. And um, even some of the clips and snippets from Rejoice. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you have it. That's Joyce Simondi. And of course, if you want, to, where can we get you social media platforms? Absolutely. If? Follow me at Joyce Simondi. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And uh, my YouTube channel is also Joyce Simondi. And, you know, lots more content coming there as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm just excited about what God is doing and mm -hmm. the platforms and opportunities he's given me. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. And of course, when you release more music, we'll call you back. Absolutely. And then you can tell us more about it. Mm -hmm. But Thank for now, you. you want to say something else? No, no, no. no. Maybe she can encourage someone who wants to start music, yes. you know, especially yeah. ladies. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. don't have yeah. many in, in this <laughs> ministry. It's so true. maybe encourage someone. We need more girls to yeah, show up. Maybe, yeah. Girl child. Want to be like you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, um, this is what I'd say. I think it's so important to be able to just surrender our lives to God and ask Him above all else what He wants for you. One of the things that I'm really beginning to focus and meditate on is not every opportunity is the right opportunity. It could be a great opportunity, but it may not be the right opportunity for you. So truly be in a place where you ask like Moses, if you're not going with me, then I don't want to go because there's nothing as bad as being somewhere where, mm. you know, God, God didn't not. intend for you to mm -hmm. be. You're going to have a hard, hard time. <laughs> so, true. you know, God has given you gifts and skills. Don't be afraid to get out there and, mm. you know, share them. At the end of the day, our motives too are so important. It's not about ourselves and gaining for ourselves. It's about his kingdom and shining out his light. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. There you have wow. it. We'll have her back again. And of course, uh, we we'll <laughs> <do more. laughs> have to go and there's a mate. Please watch out for more. And as she said, follow her on her platforms. And then, um, of course, mm. this is home. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. So, we'll go for a short break. I love to know. We'll return after the break. Keep it here for more. Ah, yeah.